Welcome to the new monthly challenge. See this rocket right here? It's a 3D model. I made it in Blender and I also created a brand new channel. It's called 3D Not 2D, where I will be teaching you guys how to use Blender, Blender basics and even more advanced stuff. So basically how to create your own 3D models and implement them in your photo manipulations and expand your skills and possibility of creations. Possibility of creations. Mm. Uh, to create even more amazing and more interesting artworks. So if you're up to 3D and learn new skills, follow the link down there in the description and subscribe to that channel and follow all the updates there. I already published the Blender beginner course. So follow that and uh, we'll see you there. Now back to monthly challenge, download the rocket. The link is down there in the description and create any kind of artwork that you want using that rocket and any other stock images that you can find on free or paid stock website. So we don't want AI, we want to create uh, artworks using our own skills and our own imagination and combine all the elements together in Photoshop. And the deadline for the final artwork is May 10th. So you have plenty of time and send me the final JPEG file. So just the JPEG file on the email here that you can see on the screen with the subject rocket monthly challenge rocket monthly challenge email down there and that's it i will uh, go to all your works and also choose three best of artworks that i think that they are the best and uh, publish in one of my future episodes after may 10th all right guys now let me show you really cool photoshop exercise practice how i use these rockets actually this rocket to create really cool, interesting artwork. Let's go. Add a little bit more details, but why not create a new layer and clip it to affect only this? So we are not painting all over the place. So just here, oh, we are basically adding a depth here. And yeah, this looks pretty decent. Okay. Now let's go here and add a layer mask. Why? Well, because see, I don't like this. So let's make the brush smaller and dun -dun -dun -dun. Um, opacity. Okay. Ah, but layer mask cannot be deleted. I need a brush. And then I just want to delete this a little bit. And that's perfect. Perfect. We have this really cute rocket right there. Now let's add a few details here. Let's add some color this will be color for smoke again put it into linear dodge blending mode choose this cool brush and the color will be reddish dark tone and i will paint this cloud dark red like this hmm? what do you think nice yeah nice let's go with another one color number two and go with a little bit brighter, more yellowish tone that I will paint here in the middle. Oh yeah, that's cool. But blending mode, I want a blending mode to be different. So like that and yeah, that's really cool. And also we can paint a little bit of the white here and then a little bit of the orange even more. So if you want this to be even more visible, let's go back to the rocket, to this layer that is depth or shadow, shadow of the smoke and use this tone and just, you know, add a little bit more here too, because we want to emphasize this a lot more than it was. And also I want even darker tone to add on this side right there for the shadow just to create really cool smoke trail and let's lower the opacity of the brush and this seems pretty nice mm, I don't like these colors but I will fix it really quickly right here with the red and uh, yeah, we can go with early, really soft brush. We don't need different type of brush. Unzoom it and just 
do this. And then here the second color that is yellow can be yellow orange, but a little bit brighter. And yeah, paint it right there. Let's erase this first color that we've painted and then paint this one. Like that. Mm, do you like it? No. Okay, I don't like it either. So let's undo this so many times. So many times. And now this should be a much better. A little bit more towards the orange here. Yeah. Something like that. I would leave it like that. Perfect. For now, this is perfectly fine. Let's create a new layer, name it uh, smoke number two, number two, not three. So number two, and I will use this white color and just make this brush bigger and just go with like that here. Just a little bit and also this color here. That's cool. I like this. Now, in order to make this rocket a little bit better and more interesting, I will make a copy of the background controller, command J, go here above the rocket, clip it affect only the rocket and change the blending mode to soft light. Perfect. We can also lower the opacity a bit and we can also move this background however we want. Maybe, maybe like, like this, we can make it bigger or smaller, maybe even bigger. Let's see. And also we can blur it. So filter blur, Gaussian blur and blur the background just a bit. Like that. Why not? Just for fun. I really like how this looks. Okay, let's make a copy of the rocket. Where is it? It's right here. And now with this copy, I want to make it bigger. Control command T move it right here. So let's make some depth. This is another rocket that will be closer to the camera right there. And yeah, let's add a Gaussian blur and make the rocket more out of focus. Perfect. Can we create another one? Why not duplicate it and transform it, make it smaller and put it over the top of this one. No, not that one. I want this one down below. Okay. Transform it and yeah, I want to put it somewhere back back there. Maybe maybe here, maybe here. So if I put it here, what I need to do is to add a layer mask. So I will go to the clouds, quick selection tool and quickly. This is why it's called quick selection because you want to do it quickly. Quick select these clouds. Okay, add a layer mask, invert control command I and yeah, it's right here. Maybe make it even smaller. Like it's going through the clouds somewhere here. And yeah, I really like this. But also I need to make this rocket more blurry. Not like that, but less than this, but more than this. And usually we should, yeah, let's add smart object actually convert it to smart object and blur the clouds too. So we have the same amount of blur for the rocket and the clouds, maybe 2.3 because I can. And this is really nice. Okay, we can add even more rockets, we can select this one, copy it, put it right there, make it even bigger. Why? Why? Why should we do that? Why? Well, why not? Let's double click on a Gaussian blur and make it even more blurry. Like, yeah, it's even closer to the camera, but I want to add curves adjustment layer, clip it to affect only that. And let's see what we can do. We can make it darker, but also luminosity blending mode because we don't want to boost the saturation too much here. And also here we can make this darker, but it's already darker because this is brighter. This one should be brighter because it's all the way back there. So yeah, 
I should make it something like something like this. I would leave it like that. And now let's add a few details. Let's add some effects here. So a rocket right there. Like engine trails, ET, extraterrestrial. So let's add this uh, to linear dodge blending mode. I want red color, like really red and dark. And I want a brush, regular soft brush. Maybe 50% opacity or maybe 100, why not? This is not 100, this is 100. Okay, something like this. Make the brush smaller and pull it straight here. Like that, hmm? Mm, looks nice. Also, we should, we should do for this one too. But you know what? We need to put a layer mask here because this one will be behind the smoke and we will do that. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see here. Like this probably seems okay. And maybe you're wondering why I'm doing this. This doesn't look real. Wow, nothing looks real. Everything is fakery here. So let's create a new layer, clip it to effect only this, put it in the linear dodge melting mode, choose this color from the rocket, because I'm lazy to choose another color. And yeah, I want to go with the opacity, a uh, video opacity all the way down, maybe 14, because 14 is seven times two. And this is the reason. Okay, so let's go here and add these effects. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all for now. Let's say this is okay. Now let's move these to behind, behind the rocket. Oh yeah, this is really cool. We can make a copy of that to emphasize it even more and then lower the opacity a bit like that. This seems pretty nice. And also we can add a new layer here at the top and name it glow. Okay. And I will group this control command G name this engine fire. Okay. And this is cool. And this is glow also engine. Engine glow, two words. Okay, put it into linear dodge blending mode because it's a glow. And why I want to put it above the rocket? Well, because there will be some light bleeding to say like that over the top of everything here. So like that. And yeah, see a little bit of the glow here and there, but also let's change this to more orange and more dark. like that. And yeah, this looks really decent. Should we do something here? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's go back to the background. And let me show I will make a copy of the background control command J add a layer mask for for this. Maybe exclude this. Something like that. Add a layer mask. And I want to blur this even more. So oh, not that much, but a little bit more than because like this is more further away. Just add the sense of the depth there. See this? Bah, not so good, but but we will add some cool transition here with the brush. We are faking everything here, guys. So yeah, we can fake that too. Okay, this looks decent. Nobody will know. And uh, yeah, we can we can go to this rocket right there, make a copy of the rocket. 
and move it. Uh, yeah, should we do it? Should we do it? Where is the rocket? Come on, rocket, all the way with this and move it somewhere here. We can go like, right, this rocket going there. And you know what? Not bad for this rocket. We can add a smoke. And we can go all the way with the smoke, but I need white. White, 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 white. Okay, and yeah, I want a different brush. I want this brush. And, and yeah, I want to have it like, like this. And like it's going behind this cloud. We'll put a layer mask, don't worry. Okay, and then let's go with this brush here and make it a little bit bigger. And then we will create a layer mask. Actually, we already have it, this one. I will put it right there. See, and also I will go and 10% opacity just gradually erase this like that. And then create a new layer and clip it to effect only to this smoke depth. Okay, and remember what we did before. We added the depth. Even smaller brush, okay. like this this seems really cool and uh, yeah we can add the same details like we did for this rocket and we can maybe make a copy of these details so come on let's move this right here and i will go to the smoke here and also add a layer mask for this part right there. Okay, oh, not, not okay. Not okay, I'm not done. Okay, now it's done. And also what I can do, I can go here and say filter, Gaussian blur. Oh, not that much, filter blur, Gaussian blur and add little bit of the blur like the rocket approximately this is pretty cool and now let's go to these engine glow and 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 not just the glow but where is the group engine fire and make a copy of that move it right here controller command T make it smaller and try to fit right there yeah perfect fit and that's it a lot of rockets are going out in the sky we don't have idea why so also what i want to do go to this one go to filter go to blur gallery pad blur and um, yeah let's make something like this and speed maybe it's too much and point taper Come on, a little bit more. Let's see before and after. Before and after the speed is too much. Also too much. Like that, press OK. All right, we can copy this same effect to the other rocket. Is this one, yeah? Let's try. Blur gallery, gallery. copy, Alt, drag and drop. So we'll apply to this rocket, okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, we can finish with this. So let's clean this up first. We don't have any clue what is this. So this is front, let's, let's rename it like that, rocket, 
front right okay then this is rocket front left this is background Number two because this is background number one okay and then we have rocket behind the clouds okay and then we have rocket back uh, left Okay, and then we have main rocket. Okay, this main rocket will be... What is this? Yeah, with all of these details, this will be main rocket. Okay. Okay, this is for the rocket back there. And this rocket back there so back left we can put all of this let's see yeah and the smoke of that rocket and the depth and all of this right here with 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 this and then select all of this all of this and group it and name this yeah rocket back Perfect. So these are pretty much okay to be separate folder and so have separate layers and that's it. Now we'll group everything. Before that, let's go to Aniric. Let's create new. Yeah, I love it. All right. So let's go to the X-ray and see the threshold. Oh, that's okay. Right. Perfect. Let's unzoom this a bit. I want this to be maybe reddish. Mm -hmm. We can later change the color also. Uh, exposure, maybe a little bit, uh, not, not more, but less, like 50 or so. And also, let's see if we go with the threshold even less. Mm, seems nice. And also we can go with a gamma around 137 because that's perfect number. Let's here uh, see the X-ray here, threshold. 15, let's see now. Yeah, I also like like that. Let's say save. And yeah, I really like it. Let's unzoom it a bit. And now let's add hue and saturation adjustment layer to clip to this one and see if we go and change the hue, we can change the hue of everything. This looks really cool. Maybe this more sci-fi look, I don't know, or maybe this more apocalyptic look. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see, or maybe just like this, maybe just a bit of, yeah, maybe just a bit of this, something like that. I really like it, so I will leave it like that. This is before, this is after, really cool difference. And now let's group everything together into new layer, convert to smart object, and then go to filter and uh, camera filter. And here we'll just play with a few settings. I want a little bit more contrast, I want everything to be more blue and green. I want shadows a little bit up here, but dark blacks down, clarity and texture less. Oh, we can add even more haze if we want, maybe a little bit minus one vibrance. Yeah. Okay, let's go here and let's go to effects. I want to add vignette. A little bit, not too much, but a little bit will be cool. Also color grading, let's add this blue tint into the shadows. Okay, here we can add red also, but yeah, I want a blue tint into the shadows and also into mid-tones, let's add bluish, greenish tone to mid-tones. Not too much, but just a bit, just a tiny of that. And also let's see, Yeah, like that. Perfect. And let's see if we add a little bit more orange until look here just a bit. 
like that. Let's see, before and after, I like it. We can also sharpen it a bit. So I want to do it all the way up, just for fun, and then, yeah, let's see. I want to sharpen it like this, 19, perfect, okay. And this is a final result, I really like it. This is a really cool way to practice Photoshop skills, just experiment and create something totally random and have fun doing it. Of course, this can be improved even more. I can add even more clouds here and do whatever I want. Let's uh, make this 10% and yeah, you know, I can, I can add this a little bit more and maybe, maybe some clouds here that I want to add just for fun. No, just like the rocket is coming through, through the clouds that are here. But you can do whatever you want. It's completely optional. So just to know that there are so many options and things that you can do. And also, yeah, we need to blur this. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, boost the blur. Like this. So let's see, before this, after this, why not? Let's add a layer mask and just clean up a few details here. And let's see now, before and after, really cool. Also, we can clean up a few details here. Like that, see, whatever you want you can do. Yeah, I really, really like this.